Hey up everybody, I'm just finishing off a few things on my cylinders that I've been doing over the past few videos. In this part then I'm going to start doing the um, drain cock holes in the cylinders for the automatic drain cocks. I mean they don't have to be automatic but mine are going to be automatic. What else is it to do? There's just a few things to finish off on the exterior components on the cylinders. I've got the um, valve chest also just to put a couple of holes in for the steam pipe manifold and then I've got the cover for the valve chest to put the um, lubrication port in for the lubricating pipe. Now once I've got all them done uh, you know the external parts of the cylinders are more or less going to be completed then I'll move on to internals. So uh, watch this space then and I'll get these uh, drain cocks marked off and we'll have a look at drilling them and tapping them etc. Uh, the other day I were over on Nobby's workshop uh, YouTube channel and Nobby was talking about another YouTuber who we'd got a sticker for and uh, I'd, I'd not heard of this channel before so I've been over and took a look and it's uh, it's Aid Swash model engineer uh, so I've contacted Aid and he sent me this sticker and uh, I'm gradually starting to have a look at Aid's uh, videos and what I've seen so far he does some really interesting uh, work on his channel on his videos so if you've not already seen Aid go and take a look at Aid I don't think you'll be disappointed. So uh, I'll gradually work my way through your videos Aid and uh, thanks for sending me this sticker. So I'll get you up on the sticker board and then I'll continue with what I'm doing today. Right so looking at the drawing then this is the end view of the cylinders so it'll be um, that way won't it. The drain cock holes are in, coming up this way into the bottom of the cylinder. So there they are on this view, on this elevation, which the cylinder is going to be that way. So looking underneath then, well let's start from the top. This is the frame, this is the top, this is the bottom. The drain cocks are a quarter inch in from each end or two and a half inch centres on the centre line of the bore. I've got to drill and tap them 3 sixteenths by 40 threads, put a counter bore in and then a 3 30 second hole right through into the cylinder. So that's that. Then the uh, steam chest which I've got to just finish off. It doesn't actually show the holes on this drawing but it shows you the marking out 7 16 either side the steam inlet hole 2 holes 4BA by half inch deep so they'll come somewhere there and there that's for the manifold for the steam pipe and then on the covers don't, doesn't actually show you on this drawing anyway to drill a hole, drill and tap a hole for an adapter for the lubrication pipe to come into. So first of all then we'll get this done. OK then before I drill the connecting hole to the cylinder for these drain cocks I've tilted the block over by I'm going to say between 9 and 10 degrees uh, it's, not, it's not super critical so that the hole comes out nearer to the edge of the bore
Well that's more or less all the exterior parts of the cylinders and valve chest and the covers etc finished now. Um, so uh, I'll probably move on to internals and extra pistons and valve spindle etc etc. So uh, if you found that interesting, useful etc etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next part to this then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.